What's up everyone? It's the Pepperoni Professional here, trying out somewhere that I haven't been in quite some time, but I used to love when I was younger, Chuck E. Cheese. Now I went to the one in Burbank, so we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, it was pickup only, so I wanna quickly jump into the tasting before it gets cold and thus tarnishes the taste. Okay, so you can see the pizza is actually cut into small pieces, which I like. This is, you know, thinner crust, but not, you know, like a flat bread. Okay, let's go and break into this sucker. Kind of a tough tear, but not too bad. See, very small, small slice. They gave the extra, the extra slice so that you can get more pizzas, I mean, more pieces in, in the uh, the pie. But hmm, definitely good pizza. Feels like it tastes very saucy. Like you can taste a lot of tomato sauce, but looking inside, you don't really see that much. So maybe it's, it's actually the cheese taste that's so strong. Definitely delicious, that's for sure. Yeah, with the pepperoni, very good. The amount of pepperonis are pretty good. It's definitely uh, definitely nicely lathered. They weren't, they weren't playing games with the pepperoni. They weren't being um, stingy, is the word I'm looking for. And uh, so far, so good. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this all the way to the crust so I can let you guys know how the crust is. Some of it looked a little bur more burnt than others, but mm, garlicky crust. Mmm. Oh, crust is very good. Yeah, it's got a little seasoning on it. I like it a lot. Mmm, that's really good crust. The taste of the pizza actually was very good, and the taste of the crust was actually completely different because you got, you know, just that 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 uh, seasoning on it, and uh, the the cheese itself with the pepperonis. That was a whole different taste. Very good pizza. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill a few more slices here, and then I'll come back with the overall review. Now coming back, I want to just elaborate a little bit. So Chuck E. Cheese, when I was younger, I used to go quite often. Uh, my parents would take me and we'd play games, uh, me and my brother. Um, but I, I used to love the pizza. I just remember thinking the pizza was super good. When coronavirus hit, they were basically giving out their pizzas. Not literally giving it out, but they were like $5 carry out large pizzas. Um, so I made use of that, had that in the beginning. You know, this time I went in, I was like, okay, let me, re let me give it a fair review. Uh, generally, the service was cool. Uh, I mean, it's carrot. It's you go in, you go out. They had a super deal for like 20 bucks. You get four items. So I ended up getting a large pepperoni pizza, side salad, some churro things. Unicorn churros is what they're called. And some something else. But you get a lot for 20, 20 bucks. Came out to like 23, 24 bucks. It really was going for the pizza, which I think was like 13 bucks anyway. So it's just a few dollars or just a little bit more and you get a lot more stuff. When you go inside though, there's this weird like feeling because the games are like, some of them are on and some of them are off. So it's like, man, this is crazy. Like you, you expect to see these kids or like, you know, people in there playing these games, but they're just on, some of them are on, it looks like a ghost town. It was just a crazy experience when I first went there and saw like no one in there. You know, it's it's cool, it's it's nice, it's fun, it's fun atmosphere. I uh, wish they had the weird animatronics going in the background, but I, I didn't see them. But now to the overall rating of the pizza. Uh, the environment, it was carry out, so I can't really give it an environment. They didn't have like curbside or anything. I had to go inside and order it. I don't think they have an app to place an order. I've ordered before and I had to call them. You know, just go in, order it. Took 10 minutes for a bunch of food, which wasn't a bad wait. I did wait inside. I like walked to my car and just walked back. There was no one in there, so that was kind of nice. So the environment was was decent and I just ate it at home. Uh, the general taste of the pizza. I did enjoy the pizza, the actual like taste of the pizza along with the crust. The topping seemed evenly proportioned. Uh, no complaints about it being like over, like it wasn't dripping on me or anything, and it didn't seem extra greasy. So I thought it was a very good portion. It was a little dry, but that might have been because I had to get it home. You know, I had to get it home. And the crust was a little crunchy, so it might have been a little burnt. But I, I, I personally don't mind that. I would give the overall uh, rating and, of taste and everything and experience an 8. Uh, just because it was still delicious. It was damn delicious. By the time you get it home, it's not at that that piping hot taste you really want. And there's no, like, you know, when you get delivery from other places, they have the, the case that keeps it warm, while this, you just have it sitting in your car. 
Uh, and also like price wise, it's a little on the, the more expensive side for the like the size. It seems like a pretty regular size, large for $13. But if you do include the deal, which we're not doing because this is a, a pepperoni pizza review and not, you know, along with wings and breadsticks and stuff like that, then, you know, that kind of factors into it all as well. So overall, I give Chuck E. Cheese an eight. Uh, I'm, I'll go back again, probably more frequent than once a year, as long as they have the carry out and it's easy to pick up. But that's the review. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you guys. This has been the Pepperoni Professional. I'm Ritzy Williams. I'll see you next time.